Hi, this is Hope Kaya of SantaFeWebDesign.net and this is how to add a new article to a Joomla 1.6 website uh, from the front end of the website without having to go into the admin area. Now your webmaster has to have enabled uh, logging in from the front end or give you a URL to log into from the front end uh, and this site has that. Um, if you were to come to bctravelgems.com, which is a beautiful website about traveling in British Columbia, you will see a login link, but you will not see an add a new article link because that's only visible after you have logged in, which I have done by clicking on login and putting in my username and password. So now I can see add a new article, and that's what your webmaster needs to do. Make it such that adding a new article is only visible for a registered person. And that's what I've done. So see here we're in the people section. Oh no we're not. Let's go to the people section. And we've got several interviews with some text and read more. Text and image and read more. This doesn't have read more or an image and then an image and text etc. So let's say we wanted to add a new interview, right? Okay, so then what we do is we, we scroll down and we click on, after having logged in, we click on add a new article. And the first thing you do is you put in the name, so I'm just going to pretend we're adding a new article about John Smith. And then you put the text in here. Now, um, one easy way to get text for me just to, to fake it uh, to show this is I'm going to open a new browser window by holding my command key down and hitting people here. And I'm going to grab some text right from here. So I just clicked on the new browser tab and now I'm going to copy some text to play around with here. And I'm going to close that tab. So I'm back where I was and I'm going to click my cursor where the text goes and hit this little pasteboard clipboard and choose paste as plain text. And The reason I'm doing that is so that this new window will open up and allow me to paste the text I just copied uh, and that will strip any weird code out of it. For instance, if it were in Word, it might have some funky code. And then we want to do a couple little edits like bedandbreakfast.com, we'd like that to be a link. So I've highlighted it and I'm going to click on the insert edit link. And then I'm going to wait for this dialog box to open. Type in http colon slash slash www.bedandbreakfast.com and I'm going to choose in the target a new window so that since this goes to an external website away from our website somebody can then close the new window and they'll be right back on your website. Now we also want to have a read more link so that you only read this much and then you add a read more link so that uh, each little article doesn't take up too much space. So you put the cursor where you want your read more link to go and then you put roll over insert read more and click on that and you'll see this gray rectangle show up. So now you've got your intro text, you've got a link, um, you've got your read more link and then you have to choose the correct category. In this case it's interviews. See we have a bunch of categories. You have to choose the correct one for it to show up in the right place. Now it will automatically start publishing. You don't have to put anything in here unless you would like to delay the publishing. And then you can click on this and choose a later date. Now you definitely want to put text in the meta description. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that same text. I just chose Control V or Command V on a Mac and paste it. And I'm going to delete all the way up to say after the first sentence which is a long sentence and just delete. Now this is something search engines will read so it's great if you can have some keywords in this descriptive area and so I'm just going to put John Smith 
I'm avoiding caps, but it's not that essential. And I'll say um, Zen furnishings, as if I'm not sure if that's, those are the two best keywords, but Yahoo will read this, Google will not. Um, and it's supposed to indicate what the page is about, and, it, and it's ideal if it matches up with what your, your ideal client or reader is, is searching for. Okay, so we go to the back up here, we check we have John Smith. This alias will populate itself, you don't have to do that. And then we've got text, we've got a link, we've got a uh, read more link, we've got remainder text, remaining, remaining text, we have chosen our proper category. And then you can leave the rest at the default. Put, some, put a paragraph here for your meta description, ideally with keywords that people are searching for that match up with text that is in your site, in your page, which hopefully has key keywords or phrases people are searching for. And then you, um, you add those keyword phrases here too. And now I'm going to save this. And you can see the article is successfully submitted. You're the only one who's going to see that because you're logged in, but the rest of the world is not. So if we go to BC People, there it is, John Smith. And you see it's in the right category, in the right subcategory, with a link that goes to bedandbreakfast.com. And in this case, it opens a new window. And there you go. I'm closing that now. Um, and I'm now going to delete that, but this is how to add a new article. And oh, I have not put an image in here on purpose because currently uh, with this installation of Joomla, which is brand new, 1.6, um, and JCE Content Editor is kind of buggy in terms of adding images using the front end editor. So you may have to use the back end editor. But most likely by the time you watch this video, this will be resolved and you can use the content editor to add images. Um, I'm going to scroll to the bottom and I'll add a new article real fast just to show you how it will work when it works properly, which is you put your cursor where you want the image to go and you click on the image and I'm going to get an error message. Oh, I didn't. Well, it, there I go. Object, object. That should be fixed soon. But you'll just navigate to the folder that has the image in it and then select that image and it should show up. Um, you can say make it left aligned and if it's left aligned, see this little image, the text shows to the right of it. This is just demoing how the text will fall. And you could say, well actually I don't want equal values of space around my image. I only want say 10, 10 pixels um, to the right of my image. And now you can see that this text just bumped over a little bit. And then um, that's a good thing to know, to, um, to assign it to be either left or right if you need it to be, and then give it um, some space on the left or right so that the text does not bump right into it and then you choose insert but you have to have this has to start working which we're hoping it does very soon <laughs> okay uh, thank you so much enjoy joomla and again this is hope kaya of santafewebdesign.net